Hey y'all, to start off this wedding in a day, most of everything is gonna be Trader Joe's, um, but I actually don't have any like cream or anything from Trader Joe's, so I'm just using this one. Pretty good, I like it. I um, poured a few tablespoons in the bottom of my cup, frothed it, and then when my coffee was ready, just topped it with coffee, so. Cup number one. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna throw together a breakfast. I'm gonna use one of these hash browns, uh, actually probably two of these, and put them in the air fryer. I'm gonna add an egg on top, and I think I'm gonna add some of this guacamole right on top of this, make a little layer. This is guac with Greek yogurt. It's delicious. I'm really not a huge guac fan, but I really love this one from Trader Joe's. It's a little lighter on the calories as well. So two tablespoons, 30 calories. I like my eggs runny. Once the white part covers the yolk, I go ahead and turn the heat off. I've already salted, but I'm gonna add just a touch of pepper. And I'm gonna top it with this seasoning blend. I actually haven't tried this yet, but it's a blend of crispy onions, sun-dried tomatoes, sea salt, garlic, red pepper, parsley, rosemary, and sage. I think you could put this in like an olive oil for like a bread dipping, but it just sounds good. I feel like it's gonna be a good topper. I got this idea from Whitney Simmons. She uses the chili onion crunch. You know, I almost picked it up and didn't, and I don't know why. I need to go grab that because I really want to try it. I just had my list and I was sticking to it. I mean, come on. Brunch at home, does it get better? Hey y'all, so, oh my goodness, I just tried this. I'm obsessed, sorry I look like this, I just took a shower, but holy moly, this might be the best brunch I've ever made myself ever. I'm not even kidding, it's perfection. I wouldn't change a thing, it's so delicious. Let me know if you give this a try. You can use also just avocado, that's what Whitney did. Um, she used avocado and like a hot honey, hers looked amazing, love this idea. Definitely give this one a try. It is amazing. Okay, y'all, I am about to film a video, actually a Trader Joe's <laughs> weight loss favorites video. So check that out. Um, it'll already be up by the time this goes up, but I'm gonna have an iced coffee. This is not from Trader Joe's, sorry, but this is actually from HEB. Um, it's the Cafe Ole by HEB Cold Brew Coffee. Um, unsweetened, I think. Let's see. Yep, just cold brew coffee. So I'm gonna have this and try it with probably about like half of the Quest Vanilla Protein Shake and see how that goes. I just need a little pick-me-up while I'm filming and then I think I'm gonna make like a snacky style lunch plate. I also got ready, did my makeup, did my hair, kind of. I blow dried it with that, um, that like brush blow dryer thing, you know what I'm talking about? The Revlon, oh, the Revlon one-step thing. 
so I'm just gonna use this cup. So let me prop you up here. Also ignore if you can see, well one, my PJ shorts, two, that the house is a huge mess. Can you, this is where I hang out. Can you tell? We have water from last night, water from this morning, carbonated water from last night, coffee from this morning, and my breakfast plate. Morgan's so lucky. Um, let me get some ice. I haven't cleaned up since for, for breakfast. We have loads of laundry to do, literally tons of laundry to do. Anyways, I'm gonna clean up after I film this Trader Joe's video. I really need to get this filmed so I can edit it and it'll go up tomorrow. I've already posted on Instagram that it's going up, so it has to go up. Um, this doesn't have a, oh yeah, till August. Okay, let me just adjust. Morgan said he was gonna take that banana and did not. He's out um, golfing. Did I already say that? I think I did. Okay. It's like about half. We're just gonna use this. I don't have any almond milk. Ideally, I would do like an oat milk with this and a little vanilla like syrup, but or like coffee syrup or whatever, sweetener. But I don't have any. So we're gonna hope that this is an okay combo. Ooh, it looks pretty. Can you all see how pretty this one, this side looks? So cute. I mean, yeah, it's not bad. Um, but yeah, I'm just wearing this like little summer top. It's sort of like cropped, it's like cropped. And then I'm wearing these literal PJ shorts. Life of a YouTuber. Story of my life. Okay. Oh, let's hit the lights. Nope. Okay. We're not hitting the lights. It's not plugged in. <laughs> lights. There we go. I always have to figure out which one looks better with the current. Okay. So this is white. Looks pretty good. Yellow, there's two yellow. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with this one. I think that looks the best. I'm trying to decide where to stand. I don't know. I don't love this as my background, you know? <sighs> I don't know. Also, this has been so helpful. If you uh, like live with a roommate or significant other and y'all split the bills, this has been so great for me and Morgan. I sell these calendars in my shop louiselane.com slash shop um i'll have a link for you down below but you can just fill in the dates it goes it's a notepad it has a magnet so it sticks to the fridge and you just fill in the month and the days and i put like we have rent our water bill my ipad bill our energy bill um cable and internet my car insurance is due on easter i actually paid that this morning so we're good but it's just a good reminder so we can both see what's due and you know venmo each other accordingly But for filming, I also have grocery lists. This is the desert floral pattern, love it. Also comes with a magnet, great for the fridge. Um, but I'm gonna move this stuff, how cute is this? One of my friends made that, oh, it's April now. Cute, and it just peels off to the next month. It was a homemade card and she included magnets so it just sits on the fridge. I love that. And then here's a sushi coupon that we probably will never use. Anyways, I'm gonna get this video filmed and I'll chat with y'all a little bit later. I actually have some orders that I need to package up and go drop in the mail today. I meant to send them with Morgan and just totally forgot this morning. So I need to do those so that everybody that ordered in the last two days gets their package soon. Okay, y'all, I'm going to have a little bit of a lunch, sort of a snack plate. It's about mid-afternoon, um, and I'm just going to kind of combine. I just dropped this, so it's literally all going to live. Um, and we have quite a few different options here. So I already have some cucumber, which I'm going to go ahead and season with the chili lime seasoning. Get them seasoned.
They're really so good. I love this stuff. I'm also gonna have some of this turkey breast. Says four slices. It's 56 grams, about 60, close enough. Also gonna have some of this buffalo dip. And lastly, I'm gonna add this. So this buffalo, am I doing a horrible job of showing you what I'm making? <laughs> so this orange dip is the buffalo hummus. Love that stuff. This is the turkey breast that I'm using. They added these garlic non crackers. It's delicious. And I'm gonna add a little bit of this for my cucumbers, the spinach dip. Oh. Okay, so there is my little lunch snack plate. So for the crackers and the cucumbers, I'm gonna use this dip. For the turkey, I'm gonna probably roll them up individually and dip it with this buffalo sauce. So good, or buffalo dip hummus. Okay, so I'm chilling, eating. <laughs> I literally have this plate balanced. Um, the turkey with the buffalo hummus dip, amazing combo, amazing combo. This definitely needs to be used in like a wrap situation. It's just, it just seems simple, but oh my gosh, it's so good. So definitely give this a try if you're like a turkey fan. I would put this um, buffalo hummus in a wrap for sure. It's just screaming for it. Mm. Okay, y'all, we are about to, or I'm about to cook up this cheese pizza for dinner. Morgan called. He's on his way home from golf and he's hungry. So that's perfect time for me to throw it in. This is just a cheese pizza. So... I'm gonna add a couple links of this spicy Italian chicken sausage. I'm just gonna dice that up. I think I'm also gonna dice up a little bit of sun-dried tomatoes. I love these, um, and Morgan really likes them too, usually when I cook with them. So I think he's gonna like that addition. And we are just gonna jazz up this pizza.
Okay, it looks good. I do, I baked it just right on the, um, the oven shelf, so this is cold. I just pulled it out. I do feel like my tomatoes really burnt. Maybe just on the top. I think it's gonna be okay. We can pick them off if they're not good. But I mean, hello. Okay, y'all are looking at the burnt side. <laughs> the back of our oven is really, is hot apparently. Um, it said 12, look, our oven runs so hot. It said 12 to 15. I did it for 13 and it's still burnt on this half. Dang, but delicious. Nonetheless, it looks awesome. I'm so excited. Yeah.